Each time I score with a woman, these words from Derek Rake ring in my ear. Love is ephemeral. Attraction has a time window. She won't stay intrigued forever. Count yourself lucky if it lasts a day. Often, when a woman falls in love with us, we assume it's for good. We think that the attraction will last forever. That's what we like to believe, right? Well, guess what? The bitter truth is this. Most relationships fail. Do you know that about 50% of all marriages end up in divorce? And that's not all. Even most couples who stay married are unhappy. Kinda sad, right? But why does this happen? Well, here's the reason. It's because of the mistaken belief that love is everlasting. Guess what? It's not. Now, I'm not saying that everlasting love is impossible, because it is. And yet, here's the problem. Long-lasting relationships are not a given. It takes work to build one, lots of it. Trouble is, if you think making a woman fall in love with you is hard, then guess what? Keeping her in love is 10x harder. I fucking kid you not. And of course, those who know Shogun Method already understand this. The simple truth is that attraction is never enough. And most guys shoot themselves in the foot by thinking it is. They think, okay, she likes me, finally. My work is done. I win. No. Attraction is not enough. Your work is not done just because she's attracted to you. In fact, your job has only started. Because if you don't keep up, it's only a matter of time before she loses interest in you. It's true. And, to quote Derek Rake again, Attraction has a time window. And the countdown kicks off the moment she likes you. The time window is small, and you gotta strike while the iron's hot. Now, here's the question. Since attraction is not enough, you'll need something stronger than attraction, right? But what is it? How to make a woman fall in love, and keep her in love. Or, how to seduce a woman forever. The answer lies in the Gratian Rule. What's the Gratian Rule? To explain the rule, let me tell you a story. A few years ago, my brother in the Shogun Method community, Kronos, tossed me a book and said, Fredo, read this. It will change your life. The book was The Art of Worldly Wisdom, written by Balthazar Gratian, a Jesuit priest in 17th century Spain. For a priest, Gratian was somewhat unconventional and rather rebellious. He'd do crazy shit like reading a letter from Satan from the pulpit. Acts like this pissed his Jesuit elders off, big time. When his superiors found his manuscript of the Art of Worldly Wisdom, they scolded him. Gratian told them to fuck off and publish the book in 1647. For that, the Jesuit order sanctioned and kicked Gratian into exile. Hardcore, right? Now, back to the book. Next to Shogun Method, the art of worldly wisdom had shaped how I lived my life for the last five years. Now, back to our question of how to keep a woman in love. The art of worldly wisdom had the answer. Here's chapter 200 from the book. Leave her something to wish for, or she may be miserable from happiness. Her body must respire and her soul aspire for something. If she gets everything, she will feel disillusioned and discontented. There must be something else that arouses her curiosity and gets her hopes up. Excessive happiness is fatal. Don't satisfy her entirely, because if there's nothing else to desire, there is only an unhappy state of happiness. Let that sink in for a while. Are you giving your woman everything to make her happy? Is she in the state of excessive happiness? Is there nothing else she desires from you? If you've answered yes to any of those questions, guess what? You're stepping on a landmine, my friend. To quote Grashian again, If there's nothing else to desire, she'll be in the unhappy state of happiness. You can't keep a woman in love if there's nothing else to desire in you. I mean, it makes sense, right? So, to keep a woman in love, do this one thing. Never satisfy her completely. This is what shoguns call the Gratian Rule. Obeying the rule takes three steps. 1. Know what she wants. 2. Give her what she wants, but stop at 80%. And 3. Treat the remaining 20% as your bargaining chip. Got that? Good. But what if you already gave her more than you should? There's an easy fix for that. Simply pull back. Disengage. Stop doing shit for her. Withdraw and give her the cold shoulder. Do this immediately, and without warning. This will give her the shock of her life. But think of it like this. 
Imagine a roller coaster, mountain high climbs followed by stomach churning plunges. Guess what? That's what your woman wants an emotional roller coaster. And with Shogun Method, she'll ride the wildest roller coaster of a lifetime, one where she wonders if she'll make it off alive. And the best thing is this she'll keep coming back to you for more. Believe me, because this has happened to me many, many times. It works like magic, trust me on this. Remember I said that there's something beyond attraction? Well, here's what it is. Emotional addiction. You want your woman to be emotionally addicted to you, so she can't leave you. Emotional addiction is how you get everlasting devotion from your woman. Emotional addiction is how you keep a woman in love with you. Emotional addiction is how you seduce a woman forever. And most importantly, emotional addiction is the name of the game, not attraction. Of course, some will get offended by this. After all, putting women on emotional addiction doesn't sound very politically correct, right? It's true that Shogun Method gets a lot of hate because of this. Some claim that guys use Shogun Method to hurt women. They want to censor or ban it. They think it's dangerous for guys to know Shogun Method because it's unfair to women. That's pretty silly, right? So, here's how I look at it. Shogun Method is only a tool. And like any tool, its value depends on the intention of the person who uses it. Every useful invention in human history is like this. You can use anything for good or for evil. You can learn nuclear physics to build a reactor or a bomb, right? Similarly, Shogun Method is like a knife to a surgeon or a knife to a mugger. You can use a knife to save someone on the surgery table or you can use it to stab someone. The knife itself is neither good nor evil. It's your intention that counts, yes? So, here's what I want to say to you. If you're going to use Shogun Method on a woman, do it with the best of intentions. Only use it on a woman you want a serious relationship with. After all, you don't want a crazy woman stalking you after you dump her, right? Now, if you'd promise to use Shogun Method only for good, then know this. 1. Attraction fizzles out quickly. 2. Emotional addiction is what sustains a relationship. 3. To get a woman emotionally addicted to you, apply the Gratian Rule. Never satisfy her completely. And 4. The best way to apply the Gratian Rule is to use Shogun Method. Now, it's the time to act. The first step in your Shogun Method journey is the online masterclass. Every new Shogun starts off with this masterclass. There, you'll get a taster on what's inside Shogun Method and how you can use it to make a woman love you. And most importantly, keep her in love with you forever. Remember, the name of the game is emotional addiction, not attraction. And Shogun Method will show you how, from A to Z. So, here's what to do next. Go to FractionationHypnosis.com or click on the link inside the comments section. There, you'll find the sign-up form for the online masterclass. Fill it and wait for the access instructions inside your inbox. And I'll see you at the Shogun Method Masterclass.